My life started very plainly um, going to church with my um, mom and dad every Sunday, getting dragged to church. Uh, in my adolescent years, in my teen years, it was pretty much more of a falling out with God. A lot of things in my life were worldly needs and worldly wants. It was more distraction than it was uh, spiritual growth. Um, I did at that time in high school look at other religions and try and find purpose there, but nothing really filled the cup. When I got into college, more of the same worldly needs, worldly wants, falling out with God. And the more and more I got in trouble in Las Cruces, um, partying, drinking, fighting, and ending up in jail, the more and more I hit rock bottom, uh, I found a Bible in my hand all the time. And after, while well, you end up getting, getting, getting a clue. Uh, unfortunately, it took about three good stints of being in jail to, to get that clue. Um, the last time I was in jail, I was in there for the longest time that I've ever been in jail. And while I was in there, I was surrounded by a bunch of deviants and undesirables, people who don't really care for the word, don't really care for God, don't have much of a care at all. Um, and when you're in jail, you're, you're surrounded by these people. You can't, you, know, you can't really choose your friends because you have to be friendly with all these people. And when you're in jail, you really don't have, you're, you don't have much control over your own life. And the more and more I read while I was in jail, the more and more I felt a sense of purpose of, of what I should have been doing, what I should be doing, and what I want to do. And this past time was the longest time I had been in jail ever. I pretty much read the entire New Testament, with the exception of a couple of books. And after reading that parable in particular, after turning my life over to God, promised God that I would serve. There's not much that I am not willing to do for God. Um, I'm pretty much willing to do anything for God, uh, whether it be helping out at local shelters, uh, volunteering time for uh, helping out at my church, helping neighbors, helping friends, helping family, and helping random people find God. And that's about it. My name is Broderick Mark. I'm a 27-year-old Native American Navajo from Shiprock, New Mexico. Um, I go to school in Las Cruces, New Mexico at New Mexico State University and I've pretty much given my life over to God for service. I, I find no greater purpose in life than to serve.